Hello everyone, welcome back to Shrine Watch, the weekly show where we look at Dead by Daylight news, some memes and the Shrine of Secrets, then we're going to take the perks in and give them a shot. This Shrine is active from the 21st of July through to the 28th of July. So we are nearly at the end of the anniversary event, we have one day left. If you've got any final things you want to do, some final characters you want to spam up to get some cakes on, now is the time to do it. So it turns out that I was right about the reward for the crown event that we've had going on here. Behaviour posted this image and it confirms that we're going to be having a blood hunt, which is a double blood point event. So keep in mind if you save your cakes until then, if you're burning five cakes and you've got barbecue and chilli and it's the double blood point event, you're going to be getting around 400,000 blood points per game, which is absolutely insane. So we've got one week left on the headset giveaway from my sponsors Astro Gaming, the top link in the description if you want to go and enter that. And Dead by Daylight is giving away this absolutely beautiful custom PS5. You can see that it's been 3D printed and hand painted and it looks really really nice. You can only enter this if you are from the USA or in Canada. So unfortunately I can't enter it and a lot of us over here in Europe can't enter it but you have two days to enter this so I will also put the link to that in the description. I'm really quite annoyed that I can't enter this. Hopefully at some point they'll do one for EU. In other news, the person who runs the Dead by Daylight Twitter account is absolutely on a roll. Whoever it is, keep it up Twitter person, you are doing a great job, uh, I like to see it. We have the new collection up on the store, this is the Sea Washed Creature Collection. And you can see that Dead by Daylight's really going out there and we're getting these little trailers for the actual costume set, which I really, really like. You can see we have new skins for Ace, the Spirit, the Twins and the Deathslinger. Now while these skins look pretty cool and I really really like the spirit one, especially the mouth, you know you've got a new skin where the mouth is just permanently open and hanging which we never really had before, her mouth was always opening and closing, now we've just got a perma screaming mermaid, but there are definitely some downsides to these skins, unfortunately yet again they have a twin skin where Victor does not have anything unique about him, I don't know why they wouldn't make it so that the Victor skins have got a little bit of a different change to them. For example, we could have a little sailor's hat on Victor. He's such a cool little addition to the character that uh, essentially, if he did have his own cosmetics, I would probably wear them over the actual twins ones. Anyway, bit of a shame there, and I'm really not a fan of this twin skin. I don't know, what does it look like? She's just got some, some grey crap all over her? I don't really understand. And one huge oversight, I don't know how this ever slipped through, but I recommend that you don't buy the new Deathslinger gun because this is the view that you get when you're looking down the sights. So you've gone from iron sights and actually being able to aim down your sights to having a giant piece of the weapon completely blocking your sight. It's uh, completely ridiculous. I don't know how the hell that managed to slip through without someone aiming down the sights and saying, oh, by the way guys, you can't actually see anything down the sights. It's going to be impossible to play the killer with this skin. Really, really, really weird. I, I can't see how that's happened. And after recovering from the two weeks of Shrine Watch, I've only had a couple of videos off my channel this week. However, I made a Blight video, which I'm really quite happy with. Just absolutely caned it as Blight. Really, really enjoyed that. And yesterday we had a Versus video. So we go in with a Survivor and then we copy the build and the killer of whoever we go against. So that went out yesterday. Check them out if you would like. Link to the playlist is in the description. And a week yesterday on the 27th, we are going to be seeing the mid-chapter patch in Dead by Daylight. It's going to include the new faces. We're going to get tons of new skins in the game files and also we're going to see the trickster buffs uh, it's going to be interesting and I think you're going to see trickster a lot more and you're probably going to not enjoy playing against him because it looks like he's going to be bloody strong hopefully they tweak him a little bit from the PTB and just make him a little little bit less strong I don't know honestly he seems like a hard one to balance and also DBD have released a limited run of records and it mentions that Dead by Daylight has had 40 million people play the game since 2016 that is absolutely insane I would never have thought that that many people had actually played this game. So uh, keep it going, DBD. You're, you're going strong. Adrian sent me this. They've created a bunch of different t-shirt designs, including all of the different killers. Each of them with their defining features over their silhouette. Xenobat sent over this picture they've drawn of the Trapper, which looks absolutely insane, honestly. Like, really detailed. And also a time lapse of them drawing it. Always astounds me with quite how talented the Dead by Daylight audience is. And Lauren has also sent in a very happy Trapper and an Oni. Honestly, beautiful. So those are the submissions for the week. If you want to send me in something, my email address is in the description or on my Twitter account. Remember that headset giveaway in the description and let's jump over to the Shrine of Secrets and see what we have this week.
So starting with our survivor perks, our first perk was actually offered up to us during the event, during the shrine event, uh, so it's back up again. If you missed it, it's a Jake Park perk and it is the beautiful Iron Will. Essentially just makes you make no sound when you're injured, making it a lot harder for the killer to track you and you're able to hide behind barrels and crap like that and they're not just going to instantly hear you and come and get you. Our second perk is a Quentin perk, we've not had this recently, it is Wake Up. When the last generator is done, you'll be able to see the exit gates for the remainder of the match. While you're opening the exit gates, your aura will be shown to all the other survivors in the match so they know where you are and that you're opening the gates, and you'll also open the gate 15% faster. And over on our killer side, we have another perk that we just had during the shrine event. We have a trapper perk. It is Unnerving Presence. Survivors within your heartbeat range will have a 10% higher chance of getting a skill check, and the success bones are reduced by 60%, just making them harder to hit and a little bit more pressure when the killer is near you to actually hit those skill checks or else you're going to tell them where you are. And our second perk, something we don't see very often and I basically never see anyone running, it's a Freddy perk and it is Fire Up. For each generator completed up to of course 5, you get a 4% stackable buff that speeds up your picking up, dropping, vaulting, damaging generators and breaking pallets. Obviously at 5 stacks this is 20% faster and actually a sizable increase on the speed of all these actions. However, by the time that you've got to 5 stacks and all the generators are done, keep in mind that the survivors are probably going to be escaping the match and it's not really going to get too much use. So there is the shrine for the week and what are my picks? Well for Survivor, it's got to be Iron Will, a fantastic perk and let's face it, Wake Up just is not good. And over on Killer, I'm not a fan of Fire Up, but I'm also really not much of a fan of Unnerving Presence, so really, I would just save my iridescent shards this week. But if you really want to buy something, I would say Unnerving Presence definitely has much more of a use than Fire Up. Okay, so let's take those perks into the fog. We're going to go and give it our best and uh, see if we can survive. All right, Jeff, man, he's looking great. Jeffrey, let's do this. Who are we going to go up against? Hopefully it's not anyone super, super hardcore. Oh, it's a trickster. I've just seen everyone's getting shot by knives. Okay, well, let's do uh, some generator then. Okay, great. I need that achievement to dodge all the knives. So this will be perfect. have to see how, honestly, how he does. He's knocked someone down at least. So, I mean, that makes me a bit surprised. Maybe he's an absolute trickster god and we're actually going to get schooled here. I would welcome it. I've never actually gone up against a good trickster. Just gone against tricksters where they're just missing every single little knife. Oh. Jesus. Have some mercy, killer. Have some mercy. She's already been stabbed. Oh, for God's sakes. For God's sakes. Get out of here, trickster. Oh, this is not fun. This is not good. Stop shooting me with knives. And he's gone back for her. Wow. Hume just got off the bloody hook. I really hope that they've got decisive strike. Strike out. You can do it. Oh, no. You've been tunneled. Guess what? I'm doing the gen. Oh, he's got Pop Goes the Weasel. Great. Who's that? That Nia straight back onto it? Nia, you lost the killer in a beautiful way. He's throwing knives. Look out. All right, Claudette's been healed up at least. Let's let Nia do a little bit of her thing. I'm going back to my generator. Okay, let's chunk it. Quick as possible. Ah, Zarina, I'm so sorry. I was talking. It distracted me. Zarina! Okay, we're out. Run, Zarina, run. She's getting very stabbed. Okay, great. Well, honestly, I feel like we've got... We've got really good control of this game. I don't think that... Uh, the Trix is going to be winning this. But you never know. Alright, a knockdown. Fancy. Okay. Don't really want to screw this person over. My lovely photography, Zena. Zena? Zarina? Dude, get down from there, Zarina. Just pretend. Just pretend. Just pretend that I've got borrowed time. We're being chased. It's very spooky. Oh, shit. Oh, he's doing main event. He's doing main event. Look out, everyone. He's doing main event. I'm just running the hell away. Oh, poor trickster. Okay, one generator left. We've got no sound. We're not making any sound because of Iron Will. Very, very tasty. 
Uh, that's going to make it hard for him to find me. Let's find me a pallet and heal myself up. And then we're golden. Okay, right. Well, you know what? I can take a hook. I'm not really scared about taking a hook here. I need to take a hook over Claudette, though. Cool. All right. Yeah, kill Nia. You're doing great. Doing great, Nia. Keep it up. Yes. Okay, we're chunking it. We're chunking it. We're doing fine. Hopefully, he doesn't bring her over here, but I've got no, no worries there at all. We're also going to get to see Wake Up. It's basically the best day ever. Best day ever in Dead by Daylight. Wait, is he coming here? He is coming here? Serena! Oh, man. Fairly surprised that one hit. Um, Huh. Well, this is not going to be enough, is it? It's certainly not. Serena's being attacked. Right, we've got Iron Will, though, so... We have the ability to hide in plain sight. Although it doesn't seem like... Did this person just struggle on the hook? What's your problem, Nia? Okay. Oh. Thanks for the heal. That's generous of you. No, Nia, I tried to take the hit for I really did. Oh man, he just Man, he just is He's got no chill at all. Christ. Come on guys, do the gen. Where's the final gen at? It's trickster. What an ass. I'm going to see if maybe I can draw him over here. Give me a skill check. Give me a skill check. Give me a skill check. Okay, I'm going to have to go in for it. Screw it. If I die, that's okay. I need to take a hook. Oh, there we go. Who wants to bet he's got no one escapes death? Well, <clears throat> rest in peace. Rest in peace. That's what we get for not doing the totems. Absolutely expected. And yet, I still fell for it. But you know what? I'm a team player. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. She's dead. We're not going to get saved. He's got no one escapes death. I should not have come in for that save there. I was trying to be a nice person. All right, she's going to get knocked down. Surely she's not going to get over here and save me. Claudette? She's going for the exit? All right, I've got to get off here. One in 20. One in 20. One in... Tw oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll just die then. Claudette, don't die too. Come on. Oh, man. Okay, why? Right. Well, we went from having an easy game. No one did totems. I didn't do any totems. And we've ended up being sacrificed. Uh, crap. Well, we didn't get to use Wake Up, but you did see the exit gates. That's fine. I should have totally let that person die, but I just don't like letting people die. I like trying to save them. So that guy managed to turn a one kill into a three kill. <sighs> well, well played. Well played, killer. Well played. Okay, we're going to play Doctor and play into this uh, skill check build. You're going to use Distressing, Unnerving Presence, and Huntress's Lullaby. And, of course, Fire Up. We're going to see some use from Fire Up. Maybe. Maybe. What we've got? Med kits? Med kits? Fine. Okay, Red Forest. Nice. It's not the cornfield. That means that I'm potentially able to have some fun. Let's go. So with this huge heartbeat radius, we should be able to do a static blast from the middle and hit at least a couple of players. They're going to hate this. They're going to bloody hate this. Bam! Okay. I found some survivors. Look at that. They were trying to just chunk away the gens. Yes, Lisa. Yes, Lisa. Get stuck on the tree trunks, Lisa. Okay, great. We need to get some knockdowns fast here. I don't even know where the totem is, but I'm not going to pay any attention to it whatsoever. I just want to get some stacks of it. If they get the totem, that's fine. If they don't get the totem, that's also fine. Oh, dear, Lisa. It's not looking good for you or your friends. Bonk. Okay, right. First knockdown. That's a failed skill check over there, and they've not even noticed 
that I've got the perk on yet. Uh, once it stacks up, they're going to be in a whole world of trouble. Okay, nice. I'm liking it. Oh, I'm not liking that. Survivors. Stay the hell away from here. I'm not afraid to zap you, David. He's going to see the damn totem. David, screw you. Screw you, David. I don't like David. We have to go for David. He knows that they're the bloody things around here. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh, nice one. Nice one, David. Why am I shocking? I'm sure that he's in maximum. He must be maximum at this point. David! You little demon! Okay, thank God for that. Right, let's get him on his second, get our second hook here. Second stack of Huntress's Lullaby. Gonna make it harder for them to do their skill checks. Okay, and we're gonna saunter over here because I'm pretty sure they might be trying to do my damn totem. Don't do it, survivors. They're not. Yet. Yet. Come on, Static Blast, I need you. Okay, a little bit faster on the kick. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And zap. Okay, well, I don't know why this one's over here, but I guess I can go and say hi. It's a uh, LED. That's the one. Yes, LED, yes. Can I drive you insane? I think she's actually already... She is insane. Okay, we're going for our third stack of Huntress's Lullaby. They've not done my totem yet, which is bloody awesome. Ah, hello there, nurse. Nurse lady. That's a hook. Oh, dear. Okay, more hooks, more hooks, more hooks. The never-ending game of hooking the survivors. And we've got six hooks, and they've done zero gens. So, really, this is uh, absolutely exemplary. Oh, they've done one gen. Did I just say no gens? They've done one gen. They're doing just fine. They're doing just fine. I mean, we're doing just fine. Oh, that didn't hit anyone. But look, they're going to be failing skill checks everywhere. Knocking back the generator like absolute mental. They're going to have to find the totem. You're just not going to be able to get it done without that, survivors. I guess I've kind of messed myself up here. I was trying to do a build where I get to fire up stacked up. But I'm not going to get fire up stacked up if I've just absolutely obliterated them. That ain't going to work. Come here, nurse. Damn it! Man, I'm missing all the swings today. Very pathetic. Must do better. Must do better. Okay, let's see what's her play here. No! My totem! Oh, hello. My totem got destroyed. Well, you know what? That's okay. That's just gonna have to... That's gonna have to do. We're not looping around here again, are we? Did she go back in through the window? I've got no idea. Let's find out. Okay. Okay, we're on the hunt. We're on the hunt. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty satisfied that... Uh... <laughs> oh. Nice, dead hard. Nice. Necessary. Or else you're dead. Cool, cool, cool. I'm quite satisfied with this so far. Not so satisfied with that, but whatever. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, what is this? This is our eighth hook. Okay, it's going very well. Unless we get flashlighted here, we're doing fine. I could do with some more stacks of fire up, though. There we have it. She's dead? Oh, dear. Who have I not hooked? Must not have hooked Ace at all. Oh, unfortunate for my team. Uh, I say my team, <laughs> the enemy team. Uh, let's try and wrap this up. Let's do a static blast from the mid. 
<laughs> found him. I found Ace. Hello. Alright, where's David? Let's find David. Static Blast. There he is. Alright, let's just hook up Ace. I'm not really feeling too devilish here. Let's just hook up Ace. David's right there. David, if you can find the hatch, it's all yours, bud. You have to find it fast, though. Where's he gone? He's gone back here. Back into the zone where there's no pallets. Right? Right, David. Am I actually hunting him here? I don't think I am hunting him here. Okay, that sucks. All right, let's kick the generator. He's nearby. Oh, there goes little David. Let's go hunt down David. Hello, sir. What a connection. And I know where I'm going. I'm not going for you, Ace. I'm going, even though he is the obsession, which means he's probably got decisive strike, right? I'm going for the David. Dave. Nice. Nice. It's only going to save you for two seconds, though. All right. Well, maybe David's dead. You know, it's just going to be hook, uh, hatch roulette here. In fact, I'm still in it. We're still in it to win it. Ace is over here. Let's just wrap this up. Survivors, you have become perished uh, because I'm a horrible, horrible doctor. Okay, well, I feel a little bit bad for killing these guys. Let's um, let's try and find the hatch for Ace. I feel like that was a brutal, brutal build. Come on, David, let yourself die. Wow, I feel bad for these guys a little bit. Um, but you know what? It's going to be all better if we can find Ace the hatch. Okay, you know what, Ace? I can't find the bloody, bloody hatch. This is sticky on a hook. I'm not your bloody mother. Okay, right. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I guess unnerving presence when combined with. Uh, let's give him a GG and then quickly leave the lobby so I don't have to see anything. Um, I guess unnerving presence with Huntress's lullaby and distressing, if you can get the lullaby to actually work, is pretty disgusting. And that is it for another week of Shrine Watch. I hope that you've all enjoyed. Uh, it's been a pleasure playing for you today. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. DVD playlist in the description as well as that headset giveaway. Just go and enter it. Why the hell not? Just do it. Um, and I will see you. I'll see you very soon. Have a lovely day. Panda out.